Hey everyone, this is Ed Keim, CEO over at Quantia, and welcome to our news and updates video for May 17th. It's been about two weeks since we did our last video, as we've been heads down working on some cool features to help you make better trades. Um, this week we're going to focus on one of the features that made it out to market, which is something called Profit Density, and this is currently live on the Quantia.com site. So the idea of Profit Density is to give you a better view into where the potential profit and risk lies based on marrying a couple key aspects of a given trade that you're considering. So let's take a look at this call back spread payoff. A back spread is just a ratio spread where you're going to sell one call and then for every call you sell at a certain strike you're going to buy two calls at another strike. So in this case we're selling a 50 and we're buying two at 52 and a half. And the whole idea is that you sell this and so as long as you close below 50 there's profit and then you are in this trough of loss until you hit 55 and then after 55 I uh, or rather as the payoff comes in for these 52 and a halfs, um, as soon as you offset the, the liability you have, you start making profit. In this case, it looks to be around 55. Now, at first blush, this looks like a pretty sweet trade, uh, at least if you're bullish on the stock, because the upside seems to be pretty significant. However, if we also take a look at the implied distribution, this is some data that's taken based on the implied volatility, which is where the market makers have sort of marked where they expect the stock to go to and how they expect it to perform over this given time frame that we're looking at. Now, as you can see from this curve, like there's some interesting uh, concepts here. I mean, first of all, this whole section here is definitely a, a probable result, right? That below 50 mark looks pretty likely because of the amount under this curve. But as we get up here, there's this big chunk of the curve. And then the, the nice sweet part of the payoff, which is out here, as you can see, is under a very small part of the curve. And so what we really want to have is the ability to marry those two concepts and map the curve over the PL chart here, over the profit diagram, so we can get an idea of the density of exactly where the profit lives. And so that's what we've come up with here, which is what we call a profit density diagram. And so this is taking the PL and it's taking this uh, implied distribution and it's giving you an idea of exactly where the profit and loss lies. Now, from this perspective, when you look at the trade, this seemed like a pretty sweet trade, but you could tell here, I mean, this this trough here, this uh, this huge Marianas trench of a of a profit sinkhole uh, definitely outweighs visually what you would get here from what appeared to be a pretty significant upside potential, as well as this sort of uh, trailing off side for for profit. So if you were someone who were looking at the stock and you were being and you were bullish on the stock, the market makers would have you believe that if you're bullish, yes, bullish to a degree up to about 50 and then that really 50 to 55 is where you're going to lose a ton of money if the stock closes there, which seems to be a pretty significant probability. So the profit density chart is something that's pretty useful to have. Um, in addition to that, we've also done some work with improving the charting throughout the app. Uh, the, and I'll give you a quick example of that if we just head on out to Quantra.com and I take a look at Microsoft. Uh, we've improved, first of all, the expiration selection. As you can see here, we've got the implied volatility of, as we've had for a while now. And we've gone ahead and laid all the different expirations over it. So now you can very quickly pick, instead of just having to go here, uh, you can very quickly say, you know, I want to pick the, the latest expiration before earnings, let's say. And that's easy to see. It's the, the July 17th. Or I want to pick the first one after earnings. You know, if you're closer to the earnings date and you want to play that, you'd go for, for that. So if we click through here, now we're looking at uh, the same experience as before. Um, these charts are actually a bit new. It might not be as noticeable, but uh, just kind of a nifty little thing where if you change the expirations, you can see we've got some animation showing that now, which is kind of cool. And then you can click through and, and get a look at the charts as before. But also if we come down here, you can see the profit density we're currently using as a full width diagram, just because uh, it's kind of a neat feature to give you an idea of the, the magnitude of profit at each point throughout the implied distribution weighted by its likelihood. And that's what we were explaining before. And the specific trade we were talking about before, that, that backspread for calls, uh, you can see here, this was the, the diagram and this is the full guy, where if you take a look at this chart, you might feel pretty good about what this trade has to offer. But then when you take a look at this chart, it, it probably seems to be a little less likely if you happen to be bull bullish on the stock. So uh, that's kind of the, the quick pass through of the stuff we've worked on the last couple of weeks. I uh, hope everybody's having a great time trading. And uh, if you get a chance, check us out over at the Quanta Challenge, also on the YouTube channel. And uh, in the meantime, if you got any questions or anything, hit us up at hello at quanta.com or leave us a comment below. And thank you and happy trading.